Yes, arriving females to the mosque. Yes. You see, the mosque, the, the obligation to pray in the house of Islam is on everybody, male and female. We are all obligated. Fasting, same. Pilgrimage, everything that the man does, the woman does. Everything, same. But there is what is called a segregation of the sexes in the house of Islam. Like among the Africans, it's a shamipa. You know, respect for womanhood. So the man comes along into the crawl, the men go with the men, and the women go with the women. Now in our culture, it's the same. There is what is called a segregation of the sexes. Men and women are not allowed to freely intermingle. So in the absence of a separate facility in the mosque, where they can come into the mosque without intermingling with men, they pray at home. But now in the mosques in South Africa, provisions are being made. In a way you have a separate entrance for the ladies, separate admission facility for washing, toilets, everything separate. They are in the mosque, yet out of the mosque. In other words, what is forbidden is free intermingling. In the house of Islam, means in our teaching, no Muslim man has a right to be alone with a woman who is not his mother or wife or sister or daughter. Everybody else is to keep them at a respectable distance. If I was going to Johannesburg, alone in the car, I need company. If I see you, my sister, my daughter, you standing by the roadside, time to come a lift. My religion says don't give her a lift. Not because you are an African. Even a woman of my own race, don't give her a lift. But if she's accompanied by a man, maybe her husband, maybe her brother, maybe her father, it's an act of charity. Come inside, I'm empty, where are you going? I'm going as far as Newcastle, so I get it. Free. It's an act of charity. But if the woman is alone, whatever race, my own race, is a don't give her a lift. Why? Because it is a challenge to man's manliness. If he doesn't make some suggestions. This is man, any man, every man. Unless he's a hypocrite or something else wrong with him. A man is a man. He has a woman beside him and he's traveling alone now. He wants to know are you married? He says, no. Have you got any boyfriends? <laughs> he goes, are you married? How long? 15 years. Any children? He says, no. He says, Mr. Knight, you're working hard enough. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> this is man, any man. See, every man is like that. So therefore, he says, now look, before that thing happens, this old man, I'm talking about this old man himself. Look, before that happens, you see now, you are nice and jovial, you are smiling, I say some small joke and you laugh like hell, you know, in the car. Uh, to me, this woman is gay. <laughs> She's fair meat. This is man, any man, every man. So, Islam says, keep him at arm's length. I must keep you respectfully at a distance. And you keep me at a respectable distance. This is the reason there is no free intermingling of the sexes.